Appreciate it. First of all, how'd you feel about tonight? Oh, man. Hate to lose, you know, but um, heard a long time ago, you learn the most when you lose, um, when you take a loss. So uh, I like the way we competed. You know, we kept fighting, but obviously we want to come out on the other end of this. But like I said, as a team, we kept fighting. You know, we kept punching through the end, and that's all you want to see for, uh, for your team. You're going to have highlights to take away, though, that fourth down play. What did it mean for this defense, especially you guys, you know, competing for roles, competing mm -hmm. for spots to, to stop them there on fourth down? Oh, yeah, most definitely. Uh, you know, it's, we all competing for a job, you know. So at the end of the day, you want to make the plays when your number called. And uh, it's a few I left out there. But uh, I did make some, you know, in uh, some crunch, some crunch spots. But uh, I know I, I grabbed myself pretty hard, so I'm gonna think about those ones I missed. Now, like you said, you guys are competing for spots. You were going against a lot of guys who have their spots locked down. Mm -hmm. What kind of experience was it for a lot of you guys as you know potential reserves? We'll see to go against all of or most of their starting unit. Yeah, it was good. You know, they gave us good work. They came out uh, fast. You know, and they uh, made some plays, and you know, we gave up some plays, but. You know, we did know we was going against the majority of the starters. We want to step up to that challenge. Uh, like I said, we kept fighting through the end, so I'm proud of my guys for that. What are you going to take away most from this week, from the practices and from the game? Ah, oh, man. I say, man, just really just improving, like um, not taking a step back. You know, we had a great week last week of, uh, of uh, just playing as a good defense. And, um, Making sure each week we're taking a step forward, you know, not steps backwards. We're just trying to keep going in that direction. So just team defense overall, I say that's what I take away the most. And the last question from me is that Coach Smith was up here just talking about how, you, you know, these are reps you can't replicate right. in, in a practice. What are the biggest things you've learned from your two game experiences now that, that you're not, you're just not going to get on a practice field? Guys are just hungry. You know, guys are, you know, we all competing for jobs. You know, this is our livelihood now. Um, you know, it's not college, you know, you're not in school. It's these, this is people life now, you know, so you can see more want to out there, you know, people out there, special team, defense, offense, everybody flying around. It's just, just trying to get a job. You were talking about, you know, always trying to make sure that you're taking steps forward mm -hmm. as a team. Do you, do you feel like that you've done that individually throughout the course of this camp and everything? Do you, you get more comfortable? You keep taking steps forward? And like, is that what you're seeing on tape? You've seen growth? Uh, yes, sir. But like I said, I did leave some players out there, you know, and I don't want to do that for my defense. You know, I feel like I'm letting my defense down. But um, the vets, you know, they stay on me. You know, they make sure I'm seeing this and I'm watching film and all those young guys, you know, we all just got to come together and we just keep improving. And um, personally, man, I, I grade myself real hard. You know, I like I, I try not to, but I ain't no thinking about the ones I miss um, just to make the defense a little better. Me being out there, I want to make those plays for those guys. How tough was Tua for you guys? Oh, um, great quarterback. They came out fast. You know, we gotta make we gotta make plays. You know, wrap up and and be in the right spot. Um, great quarterback though. How hard is that? I mean, y'all don't tackle in practice, and then you know, like, you gotta get out there and tackle and get in the game. How hard is that to do? Oh no, we get good work at practice. You know, it's just uh, one of those nights. You know, you gotta get over that hump. You know, um, we all knew it. You know, and that's that's part of learning. You know, that's what this preseason, you know, as young guys, we fighting for a spot. That's something that you just got to learn and improve on in this week. You know, you're, you're, you know, you're hard on yourself. But are you seeing on the tape that maybe you're, you think you're correcting mistakes like that you've made? Do you feel like you've done a good job? Yes, sir. Um, taking more steps in a positive direction. Yeah. But like I said, I do grab myself hard. So those ones I miss, you know, I – Try to harp on them, you know, because like I said, we are young, uh, the guys out there playing, and we just want to be cohesive, you know, just like the vets. The vets are always harp on us, get better each day, you know, find something, something little to get better at each day. We just try and listen to that. You have a pretty good meeting room uh, in terms of having that experience. Mm -hmm. American and Harmon are pretty open in terms of dispensing advice. How, how, how beneficial has that been throughout this process to have not only one guy, but two guys that are really willing to come? Yeah, more than two. I mean, we got Fabian, um, we got Isaiah Oliver. Like, we got a lot of guys who got a lot of experience, you know, and uh, they didn't seem good, they didn't seem bad. And I just love that, you know, being a young guy, all of us, we get to hear it. We don't, we don't have to go out there and make some of, the, some of the mistakes they did, you know, and we get to hear that from them every single day. Like, we got all that experience just bottled up in one room. You know, it's great. Couldn't, couldn't, couldn't get asked for nothing better.